All right, you better get your last trades in right now. Can we get this Dell positive on the final two minutes of the trading year? Uh, in two days, the ball will drop on a fantastic and record-breaking year for the stock market for your 401k. What's the trend in 2018? Sean O'Hara, the president of Pacer ETFs, might have the answer. What are you betting on in 2018? How you doing, Lauren? Thanks for having me on. Of course. Um, you know, we, we, we pay a lot of attention to free cash flow and relative strength on some things that we do. Um, on a relative strength side, the four sectors that we like right now are financials, energy, technology, and, and, and materials. And, and materials is kind of an interesting play there because it's been a great year for the market. It's been a great year legislatively with the tax bill pack, pa passing. And now on top of that, they're talking about an infrastructure uh, bill. So. Those are the four sectors that we currently have uh, allocations to in one of our ETFs mm -hmm. uh, that are demonstrating the most relative strength going forward. Then telecom is one of the two sectors that's down this year, energy and, and telecom. So you're betting it comes back, which brings me. Well, you go ahead. Go, I, I was going to say, you know, we, we own Vodafone, for example, which is not a U.S. telecom name. It's a British telecom name. But they've just gone through a massive spend on their 4G and that spending is uh, winding down, and their free cash flow now is about $6.8 billion, and we expect that to continue to rise. So right. we just added a name like Vodafone to one of our ETFs. How do you feel about international stock markets in general, though? A lot of people are saying, you know, the I tax think, code is positive for domestic companies, but a lot of these international stock markets have done better than the U.S. Uh, last year, or 2017, for sure, and for the last 10 years, not so much. So. Uh, if you're looking at your portfolio, one of the things that's been a big theme this year that should continue to be a theme going for next year is, is to make sure that the balance of U.S. versus international is right. We've been so heavily U.S. because that's where all the returns have been for the last decade or so, and everything regresses to the mean. All things go back, and the international markets are a little bit behind and should come back nicely. Sean O'Hara, thank you so much.